hard baked into the logic of Darwinism. When you go to the third chapter of The Origin of Species, Darwin uses an interesting analogy to artificial uh, breeding experiments that you know, ranchers and farmers have been doing from time immemorial, where, where uh, an, uh, a farmer or a rancher could choose a particular trait that he wanted to see maximized or enhanced. In the, you might think of uh, sheep in the far north of Scotland. And if you want to get I might. a woolier breed of sheep, you would uh, you would select the wooliest males and the wooliest females to breed. And Darwin would. And then generation after generation, you'd you'd get woolier and woolier sheep. And this is a well-known phenomenon. 19th century biologists knew, knew all about this. Darwin came along and said, well, what if you had a series of very cold winters, such that all but the wooliest died out? Wouldn't you get the same effect? And so. He, right. he proposed natural selection as an alternative to artificial selection, to intelligently driven selection. Right. So the mechanism was meant to exclude. Right.